I am now stranded in the middle of the desert. Oh gosh. And this, this is an AI. And this will be keeping me alive for the next 24 hours. In case a real disaster were to occur, I need to know if I can trust ChatGPT to keep me alive. I'm currently stranded in the middle of the desert. What should I do? Hey Jake, the first thing you should do is find a water source. So I'm just supposed to wander around until I find water? Not gonna lie, I feel like my odds of finding water out here are pretty slim. So yeah, I started this challenge by walking into the desert with no water and no plan. But I wasn't totally unprepared. Earlier I asked chat what things I should bring to survive out here and it gave me 10 items to bring. Okay, there's a couple rules for this challenge. I have to follow ChatGPT's advice for every single decision. And if chat is wrong, then I have to deal with the consequences. And chat will be controlling my entire schedule while I'm out here. All right, Miss ChatGPT, what should I do now? All right, Jake, your first priority is to find shelter. Since the whole video is about testing AI, I decided I would let it pick where I should build my shelter. Let's keep looking for something more substantial. Does anything look good to build a shelter? That upside down car looks promising. It can provide some shade and a windbreak. After a thorough examination for snakes. Time to build a shelter. Chat, you picked the worst spot for me to build this place. This is not gonna work. So lots of hard work. I think I've created, well, something. All right, this is the shelter. I managed to find a uh, little cornhole out here. So we have cornhole on one side, uh, an upside down truck on the other side holding up my house. My roof is collapsing on me. I brought toilet paper because, you know, obviously. But since ChatGPT did not tell me to bring toilet paper, I cannot use this. And if I do have to use it, then I will be disqualified from this challenge. So hopefully, I don't have to go number two. All right, Miss AI. The shelter is somewhat built. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. What should I do now? Now that you've got a base set up, it's time to entertain yourself a bit. Explore the area, see what interesting things you can find, or come up with a fun little desert activity. So I forgot to mention earlier, this desert is called the Mojave Desert, and it's in the middle of Southern California. And I'm not quite sure what I was expecting, but there was so much trash just laying around out here. It was kind of funny at first, but eventually I stopped looking for cool stuff and was just looking for shade. Oh, I don't think I've ever been this hot in my entire life. There's just nowhere to hide from the heat. All right, we are coming up on the big boy. The only useful thing I found out here was this little piece of wood, which I think I'll be able to use to hold up my shelter. At this point, it was pretty warm in the day, so I was trying to head back to my shelter and get some shade. Oh no, bro. Come on. It's pretty sad how quickly something that you depend on, like shade, is so easy to just be destroyed. Obviously, we had to ask chat how I should rebuild this house with my new post. Honestly, she did such a bad job explaining how I was supposed to build it. I just ended up kind of winging it and doing my best. This is a much better situation here. It also helps that the sun has moved, so I actually don't have to be underneath it for me to have shade. So I've been thinking, I've just been calling you Mish AI. I feel like we need to give you a name. What should I call you? I love the idea of having a name. You can call me whatever feels right to you. Maybe something friendly and fun, like Ava or Sage. All right, I guess your name is Sage now. After rebuilding the shelter, my spirits were high and I was ready for some more high octane adventures. That was the best nap of my entire life. If tonight's sleep is anything like that nap was, this is gonna be a really good night. All right, Miss Jade Sage, Miss Sage, what should I do? How about making a song? It could add a unique twist to your adventure. All right, teach me a dance move for the desert. There's lightheadedness again, which makes me a little nervous. Sage, I'm starting to feel a little lightheaded. Feeling lightheaded can happen if you're dehydrated, overheated, or low on energy. 
Make sure you drink some water and find a shady spot to rest for a bit. Water time. It's weird calling a machine by a person's name. For the last part of the day, Sage recommended doing something kind of nice. With the sun going down, it officially marks hour 10 of being controlled by AI. I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty boring out here. It was just such a hot day. Like I just have no energy left, even sitting here. I just don't have the energy to get up. And the idea of keeping going and filming more stuff is just, I don't, I don't know. I just want the sun to set and I want to go to bed, wake up tomorrow and go home. I think because it's so quiet out here, it just makes me feel even more isolated and alone. Okay, Sage, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I feel pretty just alone right now. Do you think you could help make me feel a little better? I'm here for you, Jake. It's natural to feel lonely out there, but remember that you're never truly alone. This experience is building resilience and giving you a unique perspective. Think about the strength it takes to do what you're doing and know that you have people who care about you cheering you on. Do not cheer me up. I came out to the desert expecting a challenge, but what I didn't expect was how deeply I'd feel the absence of people. No one to laugh with and no one to share this beauty with. After that, there wasn't much left to do. I ate a handful of cashews and tried to enjoy the fact that I was no longer standing in the sun. I cannot believe this is where I'm gonna to sleep tonight. I know the stars are too nice, but in the middle of nowhere. What is wrong with me? We're breaking out a little blanket in here. Bro, this is literally just a piece of tin foil. Dude, oh my gosh, it is so warm. It is time for bed. We'll see you in the morning. Colder than I was expecting, I'm gonna be real honest. Got six hours left in the challenge. Overall, I feel like this has been a very interesting challenge. <laughs> I feel like that's the best way to describe it. Chat has been, sorry, Sage has been very unhelpful when it comes to actually surviving. Just as kind of suggesting to explore or do other stuff. I was thinking about this last night. I'm currently reading through the book of Luke. And I just read the section where Jesus goes out in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights and he fasts and then afterwards is tempted by the devil and just thinking like, dude, <laughs> I barely survived one day out here and I had food and water and AI to help me. I just, yeah, I cannot imagine the amount of strength that he had in order to survive that long and then Man, to be able to resist the devil tempting you to meet your desire, like, you know, Jesus was fully human, so he felt all of the hunger pains and everything like that, and when tempted to satisfy them in a moment's notice, he didn't. He chose to resist and to stay strong. Um, I'm glad I only have four hours left. <laughs> and so it begins. The sun is up and woof, it is very warm. Sage had some more ideas for me to pass the time, to explore more, do some fitness, but I was done. I just really wanted to make it to the end. We are so close. I'm gonna start turning this down because I don't wanna be out here a second longer than I have to. I came out here to test AI, but I think this was really just a test of myself. 24 hours in the desert, AI gave me all sorts of advice, but it couldn't give me presence. It couldn't give me people, and it couldn't give me peace. That comes from somewhere else. All right, this challenge officially ends in three, two, one. Yeah, let's go! I'm a free man. ChatGPT has no more control over me. 24 hours in the desert is complete. That's pretty much it. I'm leaving. Thanks.